Brad Johnson here from Johnson.audio, and today I'm going to talk to you about the skills that you need to have to be a music producer. Now, I have talked in previous videos about being a music producer, and the number one job is to serve the song, and that means that you assemble your team, you do what is best for the song because the song is the product, the song is what goes out to the listener, and once the song is done, it's out of your control, it's out of your hands. Um, but there are a few skill sets that you're going to need to have as a music producer that might not necessarily be the things that are on the forefront of your brain. You may think you need to have good engineering skills, good mixing skills, have good gear, be a great musician. And none of these things really are as important as the one thing I'm going to talk to you about now. Now, one thing I do want to say before I get into this message is if you get any kind of nuggets of wisdom where you're inspired, please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to my channel. It will help me get these messages out to more people and I really appreciate it. So the number one skill set you need to have as a music producer is being able to see the genius in other people. Now, I wish that this was something that I understood earlier in my life. I feel like I've always kind of had this innate quality of being able to see a musician, an artist and just say, they have it. There's something about them that just you can't teach. You can't go to school for They just in inherently are meant to be a vocalist, a drummer, a bass player. But the thing is, earlier in my life, I was too competitive. I wanted to be everything. I wanted to be excellent at every single piece of the puzzle. I wanted to have total control. And honestly, that is insecurity. That kind of control that you are looking for if you want to be the independent DIY musician and do it yourself without the help of a team is because you're insecure. And I only say that because I was insecure. So I would see it as competition. And you know what? It would make me want to go home and just practice harder and drill down harder instead of actually going up to that person and saying, dude, you are awesome at what you do. How can I help you? How can we work together and building a team around it? Now, the thing about this as well is now as you start assembling your team, guess what? You start to actually save time because instead of trying to be the writer, the engineer, the mixer, the master, the editor, you actually start finding people that can start filling in those gaps. And guess what? You can get more done and more done quickly. And also the end product will be better. So you have to go out and find the genius in other people. Really, as a producer, you should be the person that's the connector. You should be like, okay, I know this vocalist, I know this drummer, I know this arranger, and I can put these pieces together and I can make magic happen. And guess what? You will be able to free up your time to be able to actually have a life at that point. And everybody else too, because you're working together for a common goal. And that's just teamwork. That's in any kind of business. That's in any kind of area of life is that you have to work in teams, you have to work in community, and you have to understand your strengths, you have to understand your weaknesses. What can you bring to the table and where do you need to allow other people to come and sit at that table? And that really is the number one skill that you need to develop is team building and understanding that other people have qualities that are worthy and building them up. You may be able to see something in them that they can't see in themselves. So you have to be that people person, that person that can say, hey, I see this in you and I want to pull it out of you. I believe in you. I trust you and let the pieces fall where they may. Now, I know that this seems kind of like, well, okay, well, where, where's the mixing? Where's the engineering? Where else has come in? And honestly, if you find yourself to be really, really drawn to mixing and that's the thing you want to develop, then develop it. And then still also know that you need to develop this quality of being able to see the strengths in other people. You need to not see people as competition. You need to see people as people as just they're trying to do the same thing you're doing they want to make great music they want to create something that they can be proud of so partner in with people in that and then i promise you you're going to become a better producer you become a better engineer you just become a better person and you're going to have more fun doing it because it's always better to do things in team than it is to do things alone um, i think it was anthony robbins or something that said that if you climb to the mountain by yourself you're going to want to jump off once you get to the top because it's lonely. You don't want to do things by yourself in isolation. Um, it's easy as musicians. It's easy as producers, as mixing engineers and all stuff to be stuck in your studio all by yourself. And I promise you to reach out to others and build teams and build networks will be more fun and more gratifying in the long run than trying to sit there and do it all by yourself. The only reason why I know I can say that with confidence is because I was that person that tried to do everything by myself in isolation. And guess what? It gets lonely, you get burnt out, you become insecure, you become like, you know, you just don't grow. And to be able to grow, you need to reach out to others. 
This crazy rant, that's the number one thing. See the genius in others, network, and build teams. If you got anything out of this, again, leave me a comment below. Let me know a part of the process you feel like you have the greatest strength in that you're going to develop and then the parts of the process that you're going to need to delegate to others. And let me know your game plan for uh, reaching out to other people. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you listening to this. Again, give me a thumbs up if you got anything out of this. Hit the subscribe button to all my other subscribers. I appreciate your continued support. I am Brad Johnson at Johnson.audio where I help you sing your story, mix your mission, and master your message. I will see you on the next video. Bye.